hello everyone uh, here is the problem on curved beams so here you can see a beam which is in curved shape and he has asked us to find out the dimensions okay so a plain carbon steel of uh, 30 c8 having a tensile stress of uh, 400 newton per mm square and the factor of safety has given as 3.5 determine the dimensions of the link he has asked directly to determine the dimensions of the link so the given data in this is given as uh, load as 1 kilonewtons and uh, limit tensile stress will be 400 newton per mm square and factor of safety as given as 3.5 so this is the given data he has mentioned in the question so the next thing that we have to do is we have to draw the diagram that indicates the all the things that we have to calculate okay so I will be showing the enlarged view okay This is the centroidal axis and this will be the neutral axis. Okay. Neutral axis CG CG. Okay. overall dimension will be h or y okay right so the distance from neutral axis to radius of curvature will be rn okay so the distance from outside fiber to radius of curvature will be R naught. Okay. So the distance from centroidal axis to radius of curvature will be R. Okay, so the distance from inside fiber to radius of curvature will be Ri. Okay, so the difference between the neutral axis and centroidal axis will be called as E. Okay, Randy. The distance from outside fiber to neutral axis is called as H naught, H naught, and neutral axis to inside fiber is called as R I. Sorry. H I H I this is H I so these are the things that we need to calculate now so uh, R I R N R R dot H H I H naught and uh, E eccentricity that is the distance between neutral axis and central axis and uh, overall H H okay so these are the things that we need to calculate okay let us go to the problem so the first thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the 
Rn. Rn can be calculated um, from the formula here. Rn is equal to root over R0 plus Ri by 4. Rn. Okay. So how can we find out the R0 and Ri? So, so see here. Uh, let me show you. So Ri. So the Ri. So in the question itself, he has mentioned the distance from centroidal axis and that is radius of curvature to centroidal axis he has given as 4D. Okay. And the dimensions of this uh, uh, section will be D. Okay. So from uh, this we can find out the Ri. So the Ri is Ri is nothing but uh, the distance from radius of curvature to uh, inside fiber plus the distance between the inside fiber to the central axis that is half of D okay did you get that so Ri is equal to Ri is equal to 4D minus Z, 0 0.5 5d okay so why i did this so ri is nothing but the distance from radius of curvature to inside fiber this length we have to got but in the question itself he has mentioned the r is equal to 4d okay he has mentioned already this one so if you minus uh, uh, the half of d we can get the RA value. So the RA value will be 3.5D. Okay. So next we need to calculate the R0. So he see here. So R0 is equal to the distance from radius of curvature to outside fiber. So we, we already have the distance from radius of curvature to centroidal axis that is 4D. And if we add this half that is half of the dimensions of this section will gives you the distance from radius of curvature to outside fiber okay that is 4d plus half of d that is equal to 4.5d okay so the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the rn so the rn can be calculated by the formula root over R0 plus root over Ri whole square by 4. Okay. So if we calculate that 3.5D plus root over 4 point sorry 4.5D plus 3.5D whole square by 4. So, I have got an answer of 3.984D. So, this is the value that I have got. So, the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the E value. So, the E value can be calculated by, so the E value can be calculated by Rn minus R. Okay. So, the distance between the neutral axis and centroidal axis will give you the E value okay eccentricity value so the distance between r minus rn will give you the r minus rn will give you the eccentricity value okay r value is already given in the question itself 4d okay 4d minus rn value is already calculated 3.984d okay so we will be getting an answer of 0.0157d okay this is the value that i have got okay so the next thing that we have to do is next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the bending stress so the bending stress at inner fiber we have to calculate that can be found out bending stress at inner fiber okay so the inner fiber so the formula is bending stress is equal to mb hi by a into eccentricity into ri okay so this is the formula we are having 
in the data book so see here so the bending stress at inner fiber is equal to bending bending moment into y i by a into eccentricity into r i okay radius of curvature of inside fiber okay that we have to calculate now for calculating the bending stress bending moment m b is equal to load into that is the load we are having the load is given in the question he has given us 1 kilo newtons okay so the load into the distance from load acting point so the distance is acting at a distance to the centroidal axis okay that is 4d load into distance from load acting point to centroidal axis that is 4d okay 4000 okay so the next thing that we have to do is hi so the hi can be calculated by so the hi so overall this is the height so the distance from distance from inside fiber to neutral axis will give you the hi value okay you know you got it so rn value is already calculated that is distance from radius of curvature to neutral axis so ri is already calculated distance from radial axis to inside fiber that is rn minus ri will give you the hi value right so the rn value is 3 point d okay minus 3.5 d okay that is nothing but rn minus ra okay so we will be getting an answer of 0 0.4843 <coughs> okay this is the value that we have got okay d okay so the area will be found out by using the formula pi by 4 d square so the pi by 4 uh, is nothing uh, we will be getting as 0 0.854 d square in mm square okay so we have got mb hi area eccentricity and r so everything we have got just substitute those values in the given formula okay so sigma b i is equal to m b hi chi by area into eccentricity into r so we will be getting an answer of 4000 d into 0 0.4843 d by 0 0.7854 d square area value eccentricity value we will be getting 0 0.0157 d r a 3.5 d okay so we will be getting an answer of 448861 by d square so this is the value that i have got okay just check the value so the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the direct stress bending stress plus direct stress gives use to the sigma max okay maximum stress so the direct stress can be calculated by p by a so the p value is already given in the question itself so in the question he has mentioned as 400 newton per mm square 400 newton per mm square by factor of 50 sorry this is the maximum stress can be found out by uh, load by year uh, load by factor of safety so sigma max is equal to load of uh, 10 sy by factor of safety 
so SYT has given us 400 by factor of safety 3.5 okay so we will be getting an answer of uh, 114.29 114.29 okay so the direct stress can be calculated by load by area so the load is 1000 newtons by area is uh, we have got as 0 0.7854 d square okay so we will be getting an answer of 1273.24 by d square so this is the value that i have got so we can get the value of uh, d by bending stress that is bending stress plus direct stress will gives you the maximum stress okay so the bending stress is already calculated direct stress is already calculated maximum stress is calculated so with with this we can calculate the d value okay so 44886.51 by d square plus direct stress is 1273.24 by d square is equal to 114.29 so this is the value that we are having we can take the LCM of this and we can get an answer of 20.10 mm or 21 mm so this is the d value okay that we have got just uh, check the value and tell me the answers